able to make it today, today's class. Okay. Ma'am Yerlene, uh, narinay mo? Actually, name kasi niya na yung Arlene Victoric eh. Ah, okay, okay. Sige. I thought uh, you would want rene uh, to rename to nickname or what. Anyway, all right. So, <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let me just adjust my volume because I can't hear. Okay, so, all right, so, uh, kids, I will be giving away art materials for next month. Okay, so I'm announcing it today because it's already almost last day of the month. So the giveaway will be available to be sent out or to be sent out next month. So uh, if, you, if you notice, I have a, well, this is not brand new. Someone gave this to me. This is um, uh, currently my mixing palette, which has um, artist-grade watercolor on it. If you notice, there's only small amount of watercolor in my mixing palette. But do you know what? What I love about uh, watercolor is that even with a small amount, you can already paint a lot. Oh, okay. So again, uh, let's not talk about poster paint later, okay? So, okay, so what I love about uh, watercolor is that, especially artist grade watercolor paint, is that uh, you only need a small amount and yet the colors are vibrant. So, yung mga ganito ka konte na watercolor, they last for a while. Okay? So, uh, if you're seeing this palette, this is one of my favorite uh, palette for travel because, you know, you can just fold it. So long as the watercolor is dry, you can fold it and put it in your bag and, you know, you can go anywhere and play, paint outdoors, right? So, okay. So let me just announce the mechanics for my giveaway for next month, okay? So, um, as a sort of thank you for everyone who has been attending my class and for those members in the group, whether they are attending or not participating, I'm, I'm totally okay with it. I will be giving away... A palette similar to this one, but it's small. But I'm gonna put some artist grade watercolor in it. Okay, my favorite watercolor inside artist grade. Okay, so maglalagay ako ng konti konte para din mat you get to test how how really nice it is to paint with artist grade watercolor paints. And aside from this, I will also be giving away. A pad of potentate watercolor paper okay and um pixie e by tokyo fine so all this all this itong three na to ibibigay ko sa isang lucky raffle winner okay so how to join that what you you're just gonna do is to just share about this tutorial i will post the video of this tutorial later in the evening and you can you know you can post about your artwork, the result of your artwork, and then you can tell people about uh, the tutorial you, by uh, by including the link to the YouTube video in your post. And you have to make it public so that uh, Mommy Grass or Teacher Grass will be able to see it. Okay, so everyone who joins it, you just uh, you just comment. I will make a post in our group. And then you just comment that you already did it. And it should be public huh? so that I can see it. Because, you know, not everyone in this group is my personal friend on Facebook. So I won't be able to see your post. Okay? If you have friended me on Facebook, you don't need to make it public. But uh, if you're, we're not friends yet on Facebook, you have to make your post public so that I can see it. Okay? Anyway, I will post the details of that raffle or giveaway uh, later in the group so that you can share about it. Okay? So right now... Let's proceed to our class for today, okay? So, okay, so I did promise that we will be painting breakfast food, okay? So, maybe some of you guys, ah, uh, sino dito yung kumakain ng cinnamon bread? Me. Thumbs up na. <laughs> wow. Me too, I love cinnamon bread. Especially yung nabibili sa cinnamon. Medyo mahal lang siya eh, pero masarap kasi, di ba? Okay, so I love cinnamon roll. As in, like, I'm addicted to it sometimes. I can finish like two in one sitting. Ganun na ako ka, ganun na ako ka adik sa cinnamon roll. Okay? So, uh, the first art that we will be painting is the cinnamon roll. Okay? So, let me just show you. So, this this is our painting pala last time. Okay, I hope you were able to watch the video for those who were not able to attend. 
and I hope you were able to paint along. So the the first artwork that we will be doing is this one. Yeah, and cinnamon roll. Yeah, so I painted this one morning when I was craving for one. But unfortunately, it wasn't uh, available at Grab Food. So I just painted it. Okay, so this is the first thing that we will be painting. Okay, and then while this is drying, we will be painting another artwork, which is a simple uh, caricature or uh, a drawing of a mug of hot chocolate. Okay, here. Okay. So ignore nyo muna to. This is just pansit palabok. So, man. Wow! <laughs> what is that? Is that your artwork? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Nakainan ha pang pita kayo po. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Very good. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, if you notice in the group, I didn't add any drawing that you have to pre-draw, right? Like, unlike before, di ba? I, I upload photos of the uh, tawag dito, line art. Today kasi, what I will do is I will teach you how to draw both subject. Okay? So grab your pencil, grab your watercolor paper, paper, and we'll start painting. Oh, by the way, you should have a clean rug with you, um, eraser, pencil, watercolor paper, preferably, but whatever you have on hand, go ahead lang. A clean jar of water. I have here a jar of water. Then, of course, my watercolor and my favorite, favorite uh, paint brushes, size 6 and 10. Oh, 12, brother. And then this, Sakura Poster Color. Now, uh, someone asked uh, if... Uh, if you can uh, if you can use other stuff other than this of course you can if you have white wash paint acrylic poster color watercolor that's white you can use all of those in fact you can also use white pastel color or pastel crayon if you have a pa wow cute ka hi <laughs> neko chan cute <laughs> I love cats and dogs. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is very important that you have this because we will be glazing your cinnamon roll with white. I okay, don't have you one of those. Uh, do you have white watercolor? White watercolor. If you have white watercolor, you can use that. You can also use... Hi, Ava. That's almost empty. <laughs> But okay, that's good that you have one, okay? So, um, we will be painting white over this kasi. So, diba, remember yung cinnamon roll? They have this white glazing on top. So, you do not gagamitin yung white. Okay? Actually, uh, one of my uh, favorite colors to paint with, especially pag clouds, yung ano, is this poster color. I don't use the white in watercolor for clouds. I use uh, poster color or white wash. Kaya, ano, kaya madabalis din maubos sa akin yung white. Okay? So, okay, are you ready? Do you have your pencil na and your paper? Okay, so let's let's draw. Okay, if you notice, bilog lang naman siya. The basic shape is round. Round siya. But um, actually, we will we will draw the cinnamon roll pretty, pretty much the way the bakers do it. Diba usually... Yung, yung bread, ay napansin, ito napansin yung sa bread, para lang siyang kinoil na, na hotdog shape na dough. Ganun lang din yung pag-drawing natin. Okay? So, we'll start with the core. Okay? So, we'll start with the core. Like this. Mag-draw ka ng letter C. Like that. Letter C lang, na medyo nakaslant. And then, you will start, we will start drawing spiral. Okay? Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang siya kasimple. Okay? Okay? Ganyan lang. There. Ganyan lang muna. Okay? So, let's start with C. Double that with another C. And then, continue on with sort of round. Pero, going this way. Yan lang muna. Okay? And then, thumbs up if you're done with that part. Okay, it's very simple lang, di ba? Hindi masyadong mahirap. Okay, thank you, Ava. How about the others? Done na?
Nakatuwa naman si Arlene, meron siyang easel. <laughs> okay, and then let's um, continue on. Continue mo lang, gagawa ka lang ng spiral. There. Hanggang dun sa size na gusto mo. Don't worry if it's not perfect round because a cinnamon roll is not perfect, re- perfect, perfectly round anyway. So don't stress about how round your drawing will be. And then we will just terminate the the coiled bread or dough like this. Ganun lang siya simple. Okay? Very good, Aza. I can see your drawing. It looks like a snail shell. Yes, indeed, it does look like a snail shell. But we will make it, we will, we will paint this in such a way that it doesn't look flat. Don't worry. We will, I will teach you a technique that will make your cinnamon roll look like 3D. Just like this one. Actually, when a friend saw this, I posted this on Instagram. She thought I took a picture of my breakfast. <laughs> so I'll teach you how to paint this in such a way that it will look 3D. Okay, so that's the main challenge of this uh, this particular subject: how to make it look 3D and not may uh, not appear flat. Okay, there's a technique on how to do that. Okay, so if you're done, uh, prepare your watercolor and your brush. Okay, if you're done na, ha, just give me a thumbs up if you're done, so that we'll proceed to painting. We will start painting now. Not yet? Okay. Sige, if you're not yet done, uh, just give me a minute because I need to go to the bathroom. Okay? So, are we guys ready to paint? Thumbs up if you're ready to paint. Okay, so wet your brush. Use your uh, big round brush first because we will do the first wash. So, when we're when we're laying down the first wash, use wash. Use really we use uh, we use the big brush. Okay, so wet your very good. Ar- Arlene, I can see your drawing. Very good. Okay. So for the colors, by the way, what you will be need, what will you will be needing for this art is yellow, okay? Yellow, whatever yellow you have, the lightest yellow that you have, you can use that. And then you would need um, burnt sienna. So burnt sienna is like a brown but a little reddish, okay? So burnt sienna, I hope you have that. If you don't have that, you can uh, combine yellow ochre and a little bit of red. Okay, so you made your brown and reddish. If you don't have that, you can combine brown and red. I'll show you later kung ano yung burnt sienna, kung ano yung itsura niya sa watercolor paper. Okay? And then, you also need, of course, the white. White poster paint or whatever white that you have there sa stash ninyo. And what else? Actually, halos ganun lang yung color. And then, of course, a little bit of blue. But later, I will show you why you need a little bit of blue, okay? So, for now, let's start with the first wash. First, wet your brush. I'm getting, ano, wait lang ha, I'm getting notification. I got it. Okay. Can you see my paper just fine? Okay lang, nakikita nyo. Wait lang ha, ina-adjust ko lang yung light kasi medyo, ano. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's wet your brush and get yellow. The lightest yellow you have in your palette. 
put that in your mixing palette and put a lot of water in it. Okay? Just like what I'm doing here. Okay? And then once you're happy with the consistency, it should be very light. Lang yung pagkayalo niya. You can already start painting everything. Lahat niyo sa roll mo. Paint mo yan. There. See? Okay lang lumampas. Don't worry about it. Okay? If you notice, my, 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 my drawing, my pencil drawing is dark. Usually, I erase it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, of this lesson, I didn't do that because you might, uh, I want to, you to be guided while we are painting this one. But usually, when I paint, I, I remove the pencil marks. Very light lang usually in drawing ko. So when you're doing a final drawing of this one or final painting, uh, you should also lighten your drawing, okay? Para hindi siya nag-show through the watercolor. Because watercolor is um, is a transparent paint. Hindi tulad ng mga acrylic na opaque, siya medyo transparent siya. Okay? So let me know, thumbs up lang, if you're done with the first layer. So that we can start adding another layer of colors. Okay? Babasain ko lang ulit kasi masyadong light. But this time, I'm just, I'm just adding colors randomly. Yan. Kasi just to keep it wet while waiting for you. Because uh, this is a wet-on-wet -wet technique. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-dry. So, binabasa ko lang uli yung aking drawing. Okay? Let me know when you're done, ha? Okay, thumbs up. Si Ava's done. Again, you're just using yellow. Very light. Very, uh, very light color na yellow lang. Muna. Thumbs up if you're done. Because the next color that we will be adding is burnt shena. And if you notice, I'm just adding it on the yellow in my mixing palette. Okay, burnt sienna. Here. Do you have burnt sienna? Let me know if you don't have one. I will teach you how to mix burnt sienna using primary colors. Okay, um, Ava, you have to choose the one that's uh, reddish brown. Yeah, that one, but add a little bit of orange or red in it. Okay, para maging mas burnt shena siya. Okay? So once you're done with your first layer, I want you to add the burnt sienna right on the on your pencil drawing okay yan if you notice doon lang oh sa pinaka coil niya there and allow it to spread no worries don't worry about it spreading okay Okay, I can see someone trying to enter. Okay. okay. Doon lang sa drawing ha, doon lang sa pencil line mo siya lalagyan ha. Doon muna, okay? Yan, burnt sienna. There you go. If the color spreads, don't worry about it. Okay, so Floribel, habul ka po. Uh, we did a drawing of the, ano, of the cinnamon roll. Kids, let me just show Floribel ha, how I drew this para ano, makahabol sila. But continue on with your art. Okay, so what I, I asked the kids, I asked them to draw. So letter C lang. Letter C. And then another C. Like this. Ayan. Tapos, kinunti nyo ko lang. Like that. 
into spiral. Hanggang sa makagawa siya ng roll. Okay? Ganyan lang. So, ganyan lang. Yan. Very roughly lang. Ganyan lang yung roll. And then, ang first wash is just yellow. Okay? And then, after the yellow, we just add that burnt sienna dun sa pinaka-pencil line. Ganun lang po yung ginawa. So, try nyo po makahabol. And How are you doing, kids? Shout out lang if you have question. Okay, yeah, I can see your work, Arlene. Very good. How about Elise Aza? Okay, very good. Okay. Yeah, Abba is still working on hers. How about you, Jovi? Were you able to, ano? Were you able to draw? Papa. Okay, very good. And then si Flory Bell. Flory Bell, what, how should I call you nga? Sorry ha, hindi ka maalala yung name mo again. Hi, Ita. Anong name mo? Elijah. Elijah? Yes. Okay. I will rename you ha para I call you with your ano, senior name. Ah, uh, let's do that right now. Okay. Hi, Ethan. Is that you, Ethan? I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that's that's okay. In your work, Ava, very good. All right, so if you notice the color of my cinnamon roll, the bird sienna in particular, spread around. Very good, Jovi. I can see your work. Very good. Okay, and Elise also. Very good. Okay, so I want you to grab your small brush. Okay, I want you to. Grab your small brush, wet it with water, and then grab your burnt sienna again. But this time, the color should be thicker than the previous one. Okay? And then, gra grab a small amount of blue. So, I have a small amount of blue here. Here. To darken, to darken burnt sienna. So, there should be a chocolate brown. Mas chocolate brown na yung kulay niya. You add a little bit of blue, ha, para mag-darken pa siya. Actually, just a little bit of blue, ha, kasi if you add more, magiging black yung brown mo. Okay? Here. So, sobrang dark na nito. Okay? And then, I want you to add that in some sections of your cinnamon roll. Particularly sa center. Okay? So, not, not, not all sections, ha. Siguro, some sections lang. It's up to you kung saan nyo banda ilalagay. Okay. And here. Kasi usually, di ba, nasusunod siya sa my side. So, yun. Those are burnt section of your cinnamon roll. Okay. Yan. So, I ended up adding it to every, everywhere. So, okay lang yan. So, pinapakalat pa natin. As you can see, my color is still spreading because my art is still wet. So, that's the beauty of watercolor. Okay? Dahil sa wet pa siya, the color keeps on spreading. And that's what I like. That's what I want to happen. Okay? There.
nha So I hope you were able to follow that part. Again, it's a combination of blue and burnt sienna. If you don't have burnt sienna, you can combine uh, red with a little bit of blue and your brown. Okay? Basta ma-achieve yung kulay na parang chocolate or dark chocolate. Okay. Uh, you have you made it a little uh, bit dark. So what you can do is you, you wet your brush with clean water and then take off some of the excess color. Kailan kasi magshow pa din yung yellow. So what you can do is you get your brush and then take off some of the colors using just water. Okay? To fix it. Okay? Wag masyadong makapal dapat yung brown, especially dun sa side, please para ano, para para magmukha pa rin talaga siyang bread. Teacher? Yeah. How about this one? Yeah, that one's fine. We nailed it. Okay? Can I see that, Elise? Were you able to take the color off? Not yet. Hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, let me know lang, uh, if you weren't able to do that because it depends on the type of paper that you're using. If you cannot take one section of the color off, don't do it anymore because you might ruin your paper. We can okay. we can fix that later. Um, we can fix it pa rin naman with other ano, techniques. Okay. I'm not sure if you're using watercolor paper eh. Depende kasi talaga sa paper yung pag-fix ng painting. Yeah, Alba, I can see your work. Good job. How about you, Arlene? How are you doing? Arlene is skating. Nakakaingit. <laughs> okay, good job, Arlene. You nailed it. <laughs> Elijah is still working on his. And Aza is also working on this. And Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it though. <laughs> it's just paper from my view. Okay. Okay. Good job, Aza. Okay. So I noticed, kids, that your your, your artwork is too sharp. Medyo uh, very straight yung inyong mga lines. Okay. The bread. Uh, yung bread, usually, they don't really look like that. They're not as perfect as, you know, yung snail, yung, yung, yung body ng snail. So, what I want you to do is grab your yellow using your clean brush. Grab yellow. Okay. And I want you to look at your painting here. If you notice, may mga yellow dito. That should be the highlight of your of your cinnamon roll, meaning the light is hitting it first, okay? So, I want you to repaint that with yellow para lang mag, mag ano pa siya. Yung pinakagitna lang, Howard, there is yellow, ha? Huwag niyo muna gagalawin yung may brown. And I want you to grab, clean your brush with clean water and spread the yellow color some more. This is to re-establish that that part should be the lightest color. Okay? It's important to do this to make your bread appear 3D. Okay? So you have to do this right now. It's to re-establish that this one, this part here, is medyo umbok siya. Okay? Siya yung medyo umbok na part ng bread. Okay? Yan. 
The reason why I'm wetting again my brush is because my paper has dried. There. There you go. So, mas naging yellow uli itong part na to. Okay? That will help you uh, make your cinnamon roll look more natural. Right? So, when you're done with that part, just give me a thumbs up or show it on your screen so that I can see if you were able to do it. Notice also that my drawing here isn't a straight line. If you notice here, it's a, a little jagged on the edge because that's how bread should look like, deba. Right? Usually, hindi naman talaga straight na straight siya. What you can do if you draw, if you drew this na medyo jagged, you can just grab your cinnamon, uh, your, your, know, your brush, get some burnt sienna, add a little bit of yellow on that, and just, you know, uh, put some drawing here sa gilid, there. To give it um uh, parang hindi masyadong straight na line. Okay? See what I'm doing with my brush? Let me sh uh, bring that close. Ginaganyan ko lang siya here. Ayan. Because this one, if you look at bread, medyo ganyan siya. Medyo ganun yung bread, di ba? So I'm painting the side na nasa shadowed here. Medyo shadowed yung part na yan. Okay, I just don't have a cinnamon roll here. Papakita ko sana sa inyo eh. This will help you make, this will may help you. This will, this technique will make your cinnamon roll appear 3D if you do this. Okay. And then I'm just gonna soften the boundary between the yellow and the brown by using my brush na binasa ko with water. So, water lang ito. Binasa ko lang yung brush. And then, I'm just softening the edge between the brown and the yellow. Okay? Kasi medyo sharp siya masyado. Okay? I'm not sure if your paper will allow this. But if you have color paper, same with what I'm using now, you should be able to do this. Okay, I'm just softening with clean water yung mga sharp boundaries ng brown and yellow. Okay. There. Yan. Okay, very good, Aza. Okay, I can see your work that's taking shape already. Okay. Ava is busy working on hers. So is Arlene and Elise. Has her camera off, turned off. How about you, Elijah? How are you doing? And Jovi? Okay, so the next part is darkening this, this section here. We will darken this part here kasi medyo brown pa siya. We want the, our cinnamon bread to be a little dark dito sa part na to. Here. Here, if you notice, dark siya dito sa part na to. Dito sa C, yung original na C, and then yung susunod na layer. Medyo dark siya. So we can do that by again uh, combining burnt sienna with blue. Okay, a little bit of blue lang ha, just a little bit of blue. Okay, 
I'm using cobalt blue, but you can use any blue that you have in your palette. So I'm putting that here sa pinaka-core ng cinnamon roll. And then this, this section here, ikakalat ko lang siya using my brush. And notice how I'm moving my brush. It's like this. Let me just bring that closer here. Inaganyan ko lang siya. Oh. Para din hindi masyadong linear. Okay? Para hindi masyadong linear yung there. See? See how I'm moving my brush? I'm using the body of the brush loaded with color to give it a jagged na squiggly na line. Okay? Para hindi masyadong linear. Okay? And then, I'm gonna clean my brush and spread the edge, yung color, here. Para mas soften siya. Okay? I, I'm just using water here. Walang color yung brush ko. Okay? Para hindi masyadong sharp yung color. Okay? There. Again, this is just water. Just trying to spread the color some more. Okay? Grab some more kasi kulang pa siya. So you darken it the way you see fit, okay? If you think that it's not dark enough, you add more color. Okay? And then you just spread it randomly around. Okay? Then I'll spread it again with my clean brush. It's loaded with water lang. Just to sharpen, sharpen rather, sharpen the brown. At just to soften rather, soften the brown. Para hindi masyadong sharp yung boundary niya with the yellow. Okay? See, it's taking shape. It's uh, it's it's already taking shape. It's looking 3D na. Kasi this part, medyo malalim siya. Okay? This part of the cinnamon, it's the boundary between this dough and this other dough here. Okay? So, sinosoften ko lang yung color using water. Water lang itong nasa brush ko. Okay? Binabasa ko lang uli yung paint to soften that. Okay, that's how you make your cinnamon look more realistic. Okay, there. If you have a question, let me know lang. Can I retry because mine's too dark? Uh, can, I, can you show me? Was that Joby? Was that again, Baba? Was that you? Okay, uh, I cannot see it. Can you please uh, show it to the camera so that I can uh, teach how to fix it? Okay, actually, your cinnamon is okay lang. Uh, it looks like an abstract of cinnamon. And I like it. Actually, I actually like it. So don't worry about it. You know, uh, your drawing doesn't have to it look exactly like mine. Like, like mine. But your drawing has character and I like it. So you don't try to fix it anymore. Just, uh, siguro, I guess, soften the part na masyadong sharp yung brown mo. But otherwise, I like it. Okay? So, I'm adding more brown using just burnt sienna and a little bit of blue. Okay? Because it's not dark enough yet and I want it darker. Uh, so, I'm adding it again here. If you notice, the color is spreading a bit because I wet it with my brush. So be patient with your cinnamon roll. It's gonna take shape so long as you keep adding more layers of color. Okay? And again, don't make it look too sharp yung mga lines niya. You can soften the line by wetting your brush, wetting your brush with clean water, and just spreading the colors using just water. Okay, here. Just like I'm doing what I'm doing right now. 
I'm spreading the brown a bit onto the sides. Okay, like that. Para hindi masyadong sharp yung pagka brown. Okay? There. Okay? And then you can also do that to side. Same color, burnt sienna. So remember, we're just using burnt sienna ha, with a little bit of blue. I will now add some color dun sa pinaka edge niya. Okay? So what we're doing here is we're building the color. Para hindi siya masyadong transparent. Okay? I'm recoloring the, the browns. And then, cleaning my brush with water and softening those browns using just water on my brush. Using clean brush. Okay? Ganyan lang. Para hindi siya masyadong sharp. Okay? The idea is to soften the colors. There. Yeah. Does it look real na? Hindi pa because wala pa tayong glaze. Pero I'm all, I'm happy na with my cinnamon roll. Okay? We just add some brown here because it's missing some brown. Okay. There. Okay, Elijah, can I see your work? Since you're uh, showing me a thumbs up. The Aza, I can see it. Very good. Elijah has cute cinnamon roll. So small. Very good. I like it. Ava, very good. I like your work. Arlene, and then see Jimmy. My work looks like food. <laughs> see Arlene, did a good job as well. And so, oh, so did Jovi. Okay, very good so far on your cinnamon roll. Now, um, let me teach you another technique, okay? It's called dry brushing. And listen very carefully because this is very important technique that you will be using uh, in so many painting uh, sessions with me. I want you to clean your brush, your small brush, with water. So you dip your brush in the water, clean it, parang wala nang matitirang color, okay? Then grab your rug and dry it. Dry your brush. Okay? So you, you get your ano, ha, rug. Ha? My, my rug has, ha, ano, is not so clean because I have been painting this since this morning. And then what I want you to do is rub the brown in your mixing palette. Okay, you just grab the same brown that you've been uh, you've been uh, using since kanina, and then you get the excess brown using your towel. Okay, because uh, we are unloading some of the paints. Okay, and then you just swipe some colors. Okay, no wala nang sa akin, ubus yata. Okay, let me just do that again. Get some color and then do this. Okay? So the color has to be streaky. Here, oh. Nakita niyo to? The color has to be streaky. Ganyan, no? Because I dried my brush partially, the color is not fully loaded on my brush. So nagkaroon siya ng streak. Ganyan. Okay? Ang tawag dyan, dry brush technique. Okay, it will give your bread some texture. Okay, if you're not able to do that, let me show you using a uh, using the paper. Let me show you again. 
I'm cleaning my brush with water, dabbing it in my towel, grabbing the brown, and then getting some of the colors, and then streak. See? See? Nakita niyo yung ano? Nakita niyo yung texture? Ganyan? That's dry brushing. I want you to do that on your bread so that your bread will have a character na medyo parang meron siya mga surfaces na rough. Okay? So that's how you make your um, cinnamon roll look uh, more realistic. Okay? So dry brushing a technique yan. It takes some practice but I want you to practice now and show me para we'll see if you were able to do it. Okay? But no problem if you were not able to do it. Okay? Because uh, it also took me a while to master the technique. But the idea is to really uh, dry your, uh, parang get some color off your brush. Medyo itadry mo ng konti si brush. And then, paint your paper with some streaks. So, ang tawag dyan, dry brush. Okay, kasi usually you paint with your brush fully coated with ano, colors. But this time, you just got the color off, some of the colors off your brush. And then, uh, yung, nako, yung color that's left in your brush, yun yung gagamitin mo for dry brushing. Okay? So, I will do that again, but this time, I'll be using yellow and some brown here. Yan. So, I'm loading yellow and brown sa mixing palette ko. I will clean my brush, dab it in my towel, get the color, dab it again, a little bit in my towel, and then we'll do dry brushing here. See? I love how streaky this is. There. Yan. So, yun yung technique for getting this rough, you know, here. So, look at the screen. You will see na merong streaky na color. Ayan. You do that using dry brush. Okay? So, let me just fix my cinnamon roll because hindi siya masyadong dark dito sa bandang center and I want to darken it a bit. Red, blue, and burnt sienna. Okay. okay, there you go. I'm just fixing some of the colors kasi medyo nagla-lighten siya. So the thing with ano with watercolor, minsan nagla-lighten yung color pag nagda-dry na sila. So you can fix that by adding more layers of color. Okay? There. Okay. Thank you, Elijah. You did good. Very good. The rest are still working on theirs. Okay. So when you're done, when you're happy with your cinnamon roll, we can already start adding the glaze. Okay? I will teach you how to add a glaze later. Just give me a thumbs up when you're done so that we can proceed to glazing. Para we can already paint the choco mug. The choco mug is a little easier na. Okay, very good, Elijah. I can see that you have a poster color. What brand is that? Okay. Very good, Arlene. Very good. I like it. The Aza and Jovi are still working on theirs. So it's Ethan and who else? Jovi, Ava are still working on theirs. So let's just wait for them. For those who are done, you can just prepare your poster color or whatever white you have. Yes, we're going to do the white when your classmates are already done with their cinnamon roll. We want we want to do this together. Para sabay -sabay tayo. Okay, as I can see your work already. Good job. Uh, okay. So how about um Jovi and those that we're gonna use? Any brush, actually. If you're comfortable with that flat brush, that's fine. But I suggest you use a smaller, smaller brush. Because this is this part is the detailing already. We're putting in details. Usually, when we put in details, we would want to use small brush. 
So, ako, like me, I'm using, I like your brush. Is that a Chinese brush? I'm using a small brush. This is size 6 round. If you have a smaller size, that's totally fine. How about you, Jovi? How's your work? Were you able to... Clear, Pa. Okay, were you able to do the part where you dry brush? Apa. Yeah, okay, very good. So, si Ava na lang, still working on her cinnamon roll. Uh, the rest, I think, are already done with their cinnamon roll. Okay, so for those who are done with their cinnamon roll, I want you to prepare your white color. Could be poster color, it could be pastel, it could be... um washed. poster color. Poster color, okay. Sige. So if you're done with your... um. Cinnamon roll, I want you to open your poster color and with a clean brush, make sure that your brush is clean. Mine is clean already. Just grab a very small amount of your poster color. For those who are using watercolor, just grab watercolor from your palette and then put it in the mixing, uh, in your mixing palette, the clean part of your mixing palette. So, wag natin dudumihan yung inyong white. It should be perfectly white, okay? Okay, I will just add a little bit of water para mag maging flowy siya, okay? Kasi si poster color is a little thick. So you would want to add a little bit of water para mas maging flowy or less viscous yung paint nyo, okay? Huwag masyadong white, ay huwag masyadong makapal ha? Kasi uh, hindi siya magiging organic looking, Okay? And then what I want you to do is uh, brush some white on your um, on your cinnamon roll. Okay, it's up to you how it's gonna look like. Pero you can follow how I'm doing it. Okay, so if you notice, hindi lahat nilagyan ko, just some parts of the here. Some parts of the ano lang, of the cinnamon roll. Okay, so my brush is fully loaded with the white. And I'm brushing it like that. Don't worry, we will fix this pa. Okay, just lay down the first layer of white. Okay. So I'm basing my drawing on my original painting para... Hawig pa sila. Okay. Just gonna add some, add some more white because my brush ran out of white. There. Who's <coughs> talking? Are you okay? May umuubos sa inyo. I hope you're okay. Okay, naglagay na ako ng white. Mukha ng cinnamon roll, Okay? So, if you're done with your white, what I want you to do is uh, add a little bit of the burnt sienna to your white. Just a very small amount, okay? Okay, to your white. And that's gonna be the shadow part of your of your glaze. Shadow part siya. So, dun sa part na medyo parang nasa ano siya, dun sa may part na naka-overflow siya dun sa bread, lalagyan mo lang. Okay? Para lang hindi siya masyadong white na white. Okay? But I noticed that my white is not as white as I want. So, I will get more uh, poster color. So, kayo, pagka hindi kayo happy doon sa pagka-white na, you can still add more layers of poster color. Okay? Just make sure that hindi naman masyado siyang white na white kasi magmumukha naman siya hindi organic. Okay? So, I'm adding more white, ha? The same technique lang, ay the same place lang where I put the, the first wash. I'm adding more white lang kasi parang medyo hindi pa siya ganun ka-opaque. Okay? And then if you notice, hindi continuous yung nilagay ko. May mga parts na butas. 
para lang for the, the bread underneath to show through. Kasi hindi naman perfect usually yung glazing eh. Okay? So the idea is to make a bread that's uh, organic. Hindi ganun ka-perfect yung pagka, yung itsura niya. Okay? Para mas realistic. Okay. Let me know ha, if you're done with the glazing. Can I see your work, Aza and Ethan? Okay, nice. Okay, so nilagyan nyo na ng white. Okay, very good. Okay, I can see all the Elijah's work as well. Meron na siyang sugar glaze sa kanyang cinnamon. Okay. So when you're uh how about Ava? How are you doing with your cinnamon roll? So Arlene is also working on hers. And Dovi also. If you can make your ano, lighter, ha? If you can make it lighter, don't worry. Okay? So, the next thing that you're gonna do when you're done with the cinnamon roll and the white lace is to paint around your bread. Kasi the light is coming from, from this direction, from top. So, dapat magkakasya ng konting shadow here, right? So what you can do to do what you can know you can do is to grab your gray if you have gray. But if you don't have gray, what you can do is just grab your brown, your burnt sienna, and add more blue. Okay, look at this at what I'm doing. Oh, see? Okay, that didn't work. Let me just add some more. So hanggang sa magagawa ako ng gray, I will mix my burnt sienna with blue. Para magmukha siyang gray. Okay? Now, why am I using burnt sienna? It's because it's the same color as the cinnamon. Para din, may cohesiveness pagdating sa color. Okay? Kasi if we grab black, for example, hindi siya cohesive na with your painting. Okay? So, usually, the shadow is darkest underneath, right under or nearest to the object. So, here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna paint some shadow color dito sa baba lang mismo nung nung cinnamon. Okay? Nung cinnamon roll. Okay. I'm gonna add some more. So again, the shadow should be darkest right beside the right beside the cinnamon roll. And then what I will do, I will clean my brush and spread the colors of the shadow using just my wet brush here. Okay. Okay. Para magmukhang 3D talaga yung iyong cinnamon roll. There. Teacher. Yes. I'm using a Chinese brush. Yeah, that's totally fine. Actually, I also use Chinese brush, especially when gouache painting. So, I've already finished adding shadow in my around my cinnamon roll. Okay? Elijah, look at this. Elijah, this is this is my painting of cherry blossom trees using Chinese brush. 
you're using Chinese brush the like yeah we have I have I have nine Chinese brushes of different sizes and different mixes of hair. I use it when wash painting. Mm -hmm. So in watercolor, you can also use Chinese brush. No problem with that. Okay, so I hope you were able to add the shadow na. Okay, so I'm just adding more darker, uh, a darker rather, darker shadow just behind or just beside the cinnamon. Okay, here. Let me just bring that closer. There. So now it doesn't look like it's floating in space. It looks like it's casting a shadow on the table or plate. Kanwari. Okay. Let me just clean that up kasi masyado siyang sharp. I'm gonna brush it with water para then masoften yung kanyang edges. So we don't want sharp edges sa ating artwork. Okay? There. Okay? So can I see your work? I think uh, Ava is still working on hers. So does Arlene and Joby. I think Elijah is done. Okay, very good. Aza, I like it. Good job. You nailed it. How about Ethan? How are you doing, Ethan? <laughs> Were you able to finish it? <laughs> oh, not yet. Okay. I like the painting behind you. Mama. Ava. Or Aza. Did you paint that? Painting na white kuku. That's beautiful. I saw the rat over there. Ava is still working on her painting. Pati si Joby and si Arlene. Elijah is also working on her. Kaya mo naman yan na lang. Pinitin so when you're done, don't forget to sign your name, ha, on your art. Because we will do now. We will paint now. We'll start painting now. Yung mug. Good job, Ava. What you did there is almost like a very good abstract or expressionist version of your cinnamon roll. Be proud of your work. That's beautiful. Juby, beautiful. Very good. I love it. Okay? So are we ready to paint hot chocolate? Oh, still, Arlene is still working on hers. But I hope you have an extra paper because we will paint. Good job, Arlene. That's beautiful. I like it. Very good. You nailed it. Aza, that's very, really nice. Okay, very good. I also like that you already signed your artwork. Be proud of your work, kids. Huh? They're beautiful. Very good. Okay, so next, uh, we, okay, oh, thank you, Ethan. I love it. Thank you for sharing your artwork. Okay, so the next thing that we will paint, and I hope you're ready for this. This is very, this is pretty straightforward. It's not as hard as cinnamon roll, so don't worry. Uh, we're going to be quick about this. Let me just grab my pencil so that I can show how to draw this one. It's very simple. So the next thing that we will be drawing, since we're done now with the cinnamon roll, is we will draw this. It's just uh, a mug of hot chocolate. Okay? But we will also do wet on wet technique on this one. Okay? So to draw this one, uh, okay, so let me just reorient my paper like this. Okay, so madali lang siya. You just create an oval. Okay, oval lang. Okay. It doesn't even have, wait. I don't like my oval. Let me just, uh, okay. So if you're clueless as how to do, to draw this one, you can actually grab your mug and Sketch your mug. Okay, I'm too lazy to get up and uh, okay, very good, Ava. Okay, <laughs> nag drawing na si Ava. 
All right. And then you know just um just draw two lines that are parallel to each other. Okay, like a cylinder. Okay, you're, ma you're making a cylinder. And you just draw the base like that. Okay, a very wide C. There. Ganun lang siya ka simple. So caricature lang siya ha. It's not this one is not going to be realistic unlike the uh, cinnamon roll. And then we just draw the ear, the 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 handle, okay? Pretty straight, pretty straightforward lang. Okay? Like that. It's more on the ano ka actually, it's more on the drawing of the hot chocolate. That's a, the uh, um the focus of this um session, this part is to teach you how to draw the hot chocolate using wet and wet. Okay, so the same technique that we used for cinnamon roll. And then you just draw a heart. It can be a star also. Ha? If you don't want to draw a heart, you can also draw a star. Don't worry about any shape. Na gusto nyo, okay? So, and then let's put another C here. This time, baliktad na C. Para lang madelineate natin yung kung nasaan si hot chocolate. Okay? Like that. So, ilapit ko lang ng konti. See? Yan na siya. Very simple drawing. Yan. And then, I want you guys to wet the whole thing. Like, really wet it. Madumi na yung water ko. Mapalitan ko lang ng konti. Pero, you just wet the whole thing. Okay. You wet the whole thing. Tanggalin ko lang yung sa outside. Kasi medyo, yan. Ayan lang. Masyadong basa yung sides. Okay? So you wet the whole thing. And then grab the color that you want for your mug. So this time, I'm gonna be using violet. Okay? Violet. And I will paint just inside the line of my cup. Ayan. If you notice, kakala talaga siya. It's fine. Okay? Don't worry about it spreading. So, I'm drawing the, the handle as well as the mug itself. Okay? There. Don't worry about the color spreading. Mine is a little messy. Okay? Let me just bring that close. Kasi masyado yata ang malay. Okay. There. So the reason why I added this tutorial is because you will be using the same color for your cinnamon roll for the chocolate. Okay? But uh, let's not get ahead. Let me just ask you, how are you doing with your drawing and your first wash? If kumalat yung color nyo, actually okay lang. Kasi what we're going to do is um, uh, medyo ex uh, parang hindi siya realistic, more on the artistic way of drawing your hot chocolate in a mug. Okay? So I can see that Ava used green. For her hot chocolate. Okay. Medyo natawa ako na may leg ang iyong mug. Pero okay lang yan if that's what you want. Is that a leg? Pilagyan mo siya ng leg? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I love it. So guys, uh, you don't need to draw the same thing as mine. Ha? If you want your mug to look like a cat or dog or you know a person, it's totally okay with me. <laughs> Okay, so once you're done with, with the first layer of color, I want you to grab the same mug color. So if you use green, grab the same color, but this time you, you, you grab it straight from your watercolor pan and just drop the color around dun sa, sa sides ng iyong mug. 
Okay? Like that. And then dun sa handle. Just to darken the color. So mine, I used a sort of violet. Okay? Again, it's okay if the color is spreading. If you think the color is spreading way outside, you can always just drag some colors off by wetting your brush. But for me, I'm okay with it. Okay. So right now, I am drawing my mug using the same color. Dinadarken ko lang yung pinaka-drawing para we know the boundary of the mug. Para lang ma-highlight natin yung drawing. Okay? There. So ang tawag dito sa drawing na to, or yung way na painting niya ay loose. Loose painting. Okay? And then you just let it dry for a bit. Okay. <clears throat> How are you doing with your painting, Ava? Are you done? Okay, but the rest are still working on their artwork. Wow, nice. It's a cat. <laughs> Thank you, Aza. Okay, so let me just um, teach you how to draw your... Ano, because uh, we need to paint this while uh, the paper is still wet. To draw the hot chocolate, remember yung dark brown sa cinnamon roll? You just grab your burnt sienna and add a little bit of blue. Okay? Para mag-darken siya ng konti. You make it dark. You make it dark. Oh, you, you add more blue or too much blue, you will end up with coffee. But if you want a hot chocolate, you just make it, uh, you know, brown chocolate or chocolate brown. Okay? And then you just Add it on the right side of your mug. Yung dito sa may part na to lang. Okay? Because that is the darkest part of your chocolate. Okay? So, parang ganito lang. See? Dito lang sa part na to yung dark. So, doon lang, lang muna kayo mag-a-add. Sa, dito sa side na to. And then, you just keep adding... Hanggang sa maging dark siya. Once na-add yun na siya, you clean your brush and then just drag the colors towards the left with your wet brush. So the light part, the lightest part of your chocolate will be dito sa left side ng, ng inner part ng mug mo. Okay? There. And then siya. Okay, very good, Elijah. I can see that you're, ano, done na. Nice! <laughs> so, Elijah finished with his kasi nilagyan niya na ng legs and ng, ng decoration. Okay? Nagmukha siyang may legs then. So, for the heart part, I just grab red and just color this heart. So, kung meron kang design na iba and you want it with other colors, that's totally fine. Okay? Again, this is just a loose drawing. 
doesn't have to be, you know, serious. I like the cinnamon roll. And actually, one of my favorite um, subject to draw is mug. Kasi kaya di mo idesign yung mug mo eh, ng iba-ibang design. Like, just like what you did, kids. Okay? So again, I'm just using my violet to reinforce my drawing by painting the edges. Kasi again, although this one is a loose uh, drawing, I would still want the uh, show its shape. Okay? So I'm just reinforcing the, the drawing using the same color of my mug, which is violet. Okay? And if you notice, the lightest part of my drawing is the center where there is a heart. So that the heart, the heart will, will show really nicely. Okay? So like, yeah, very good, Ava. I can see your green mug. Okay? There. Just want to add some more bio, uh, brown to my hot chocolate because it's light na siya. So that's the thing with the watercolor. Imagine it's light na siya when it dries. So I'm just adding some more. But if you're happy now with, uh, ano, with your hot chocolate, then... Cora, okay? Lang yan. okay? Nice, Aza. <laughs> so yours is a kitty, kitty mug. Okay, so. And then. Nice! Ang ganda ng drawing ni Arlene. So pinarter niya si mug niya with her cinnamon roll. Okay, so. Yung next na lang na part is just painting the background. So how do I paint the background? I just. Um, I just. Grab my violet and my vernchena. They I combine them there, and then I make it as a shadow color lang here. Shadow color lang siya there. Para lang merong sort of ano den three dimensionality sa mag natin. Okay, and then I just draw around it as well. Para lang hindi masadong white yung background niya. But if you want your background to be white, it's totally fine. Okay, nag-draw lang ako around my mug. Pretty much yung katulad ng painting ko where the background is um, color blue naman kasi the mug is blue. Uh, if you notice, I like painting backgrounds as well when, when doing my art kasi I learned it from one of the Japanese painters that I follow. Uh, she said that when you're painting the background, you're actually painting the atmosphere surrounding your subject. So imagine that she's painting air and she, she depicts the air around the object or subject by painting the background. The background is the color of the air, essentially. Okay? There. Ang ng sinabi niya, si Yuko Nagayama. I follow her on Instagram. She went to the Philippines a few years back and thought about watercolor. Sadly, I wasn't able to attend it because I wasn't into painting at that time yet. There, I'm done with my mug. Okay, so my 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 hot chocolate uh, is not so chocolatey. I'll just add more. Ano? And lalagyan ko na lang. Ayan. There. Add na ako ng konting red. Kasi nagmukha siya kanina coffee. Okay, so guys, uh, show me your paintings if you're done so that we can have a class picture because this class is finished. Where's your cinnamon roll, Aza? <laughs> How about you? Next. Nice. Good job, Ethan. Okay, so please display your work so that we can, uh, para mag ano tayo ng class. Let me just open my uh, video as well. I'm kind of. <laughs> Kids, thank you so much for attending, ha. And let me just display my artwork as well so that it appears in the class picture there let me just there you go wait na ayusin lang natin so finish lang natin natapos si si mug diba let me just uh, okay so display ko muna si artwork natin para we can get uh, we can do the class picture na okay 
So I hope you were you you enjoyed this out. Uh, did you find did you find the ano the class enjoyable? Did you learn something new today? Okay, so let me just uh okay. So I'll uh, I'll just get a sneak too so that I can take a screenshot of you guys. Okay. I need the mouse though. Wait lang ha. Anyway, I can't find my mouse, but let me just... Okay, so let's take a photo. Oh, wait. That's not successful. Wait lang po, ha? <laughs> that's not successful. I don't have a mouse, so I'm having issue. Okay, wait lang, ha? One, two, three... Wait lang, si ano, si, hindi nakuha si, si Ava. Wait lang, Ava, hindi kita nakuha. Okay, again. Yan, successful na. Okay. So, let me just save that bago pa siya mawala. Alright. So, kids, uh, do, do share. Do share about your work then sa group so that the other kids will be able to see your work. Be proud of your artwork, ha? And then, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce about our giveaway again. So, for those who are late, I'm, I'm hosting a giveaway raffle in our group. So, what's at stake again is that uh, the person who wins the raffle will get this uh, potentate block watercolor paper this has 20 sheets so you'll be able to paint 20 subjects here and then pixie ink by tokyo find so this is actually um a liquid watercolor parang ganon. and then um, uh, a mixing palette with artist grade watercolor inside so i'm gonna put my favorite watercolor artist grade watercolors inside this palette and have it dry and then we'll ship to you so uh, the reason why I'm giving uh, watercolor paints na artist grade is because I want you guys to experience how to paint with artist grade watercolors. You will you will realize how really nice it is uh, to paint using artist grade watercolors. So um, let me just stop the recording. Okay, so let me just stop.